Good day everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to enable full context menus on your Windows 11 machine. Now, unlike Windows 10, if you would have done a right click on any of the folders, you would see uh, a lot of options like what you're seeing on the screen. Now, Windows 11 has truncated this feature and uh, they have the full context menus on a first right click has been disabled. Now, to enable this feature, you will have to do a registry tweak. So to fix the problem, what you will have to do is you will have to open registry editor on your computer. So click on the search and type reg edit or you can type registry editor. Open registry editor. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue. Once you're on the registry editor, uh, to be on a safer side, I would suggest you to take a backup of the registry just in case if you delete some of the um, registries your computer might go to a no boot mode. So make sure you take a backup of the registry. So once you're on the registry, what you will have to do is you will have to uh, expand HKEY current user. Once you're expanding HKEY current user, you will have to look for software. Under software, you will have to look for classes. Once you're on classes, you will have to look for CLSID. I will also mention this registry uh, in the video description. You can take the registry entry uh, from the video description once you're on the cls id you can expand cls id you will have to do a right click click on new click on key and uh, paste or use this uh, value like i said you would see this value in the video description you can copy and paste it here once you have created this registry, uh, the next thing is you will have to create another sub key. So for that, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click, click on new, click on key. Now as a character, you will have to go ahead and type I N P R O C server is capital 32 and hit enter. Now, once you have created this registry in INPROC server 32, uh, make sure the data value not set is left blank. To do that, what you will have to do is you will have to open, uh, double click on the default and click on OK. The data would be set to blank. Once this is done, you may go ahead and minimize the registry editor. Now, then open task manager and restart your Windows Explorer or you can go ahead and restart your computer so your full context menu should be enabled on the computer so let's go ahead and try it so let me go ahead and look for Windows Explorer here so I'll do a right click click on restart I'm going to restart the Windows Explorer now I'm going to check if the full context menus are enabled on your computer so if you do if I do a right click I would see all the full context menu on my Windows 11 machine. So this is how I can go ahead and enable full context menus on my Windows 11 machine. In case if you want to go ahead and disable it back and restore it back to normal. So you can go back to the registry editor, delete the registry key which you have created. Make sure you delete the right key, not any other key, because if you delete any other key, there are chances that your computer might go to a no boot mode. So I'm going to delete the registry entry which I created. So I'm going to do a right click, click on delete, click on yes, and I'm going to open the task manager, restart Windows Explorer. And uh, if I do a right click, um, the full context menus has been disabled on my Windows 11 machine. So this is how you can go ahead and enable and disable full context menus on your Windows 11 machine. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.